So one of the things you need to be able to do is recognize the trigonometric formulas. You don't have to memorize them, but you need to be familiar enough with them so that when you see something, you know that it's following uh, one of those patterns. So we have this problem uh, that says, write the following expression as the sine, cosine, or tangent of a double angle. Then find the exact value of the expression. Um, now, on the test, it may not tell you to write it as a double angle. Really, I would expect that you could look at this and your formula sheet and recognize that this follows that particular pattern. So let's look at the formulas. And here we have our double angle formulas. This is just a portion of the uh, formula sheet. But again, you need to be familiar with everything that's there so that when we see something that fits the pattern, we recognize it. And looking at this list, I can see that 2 sine of 112.5 degrees times cosine of 112.5 degrees looks like 2 sine A cosine A. And according to this, it's equal to sine of 2A. So we've got to figure that out. When, when we look at sine or 2 sine A cosine A, we see that we have exactly that. And that means it would be equal to sine of 2A. Well, what is A? So again, looking at our pattern, A aligns with 112.5 degrees. Okay, so A is 112.5 degrees. And so now we're going to plug it into the formula. Okay, we'll start with what they gave us. 2 sine of 112.5 degrees times cosine of 112.5 degrees. We've already identified that this fits sine 2a, so we'll say it's equal to sine of 2 times 112.5 degrees. We said that a was 112.5 degrees. And so now we can go on and simplify that. 2 times 112.5 degrees is 225 degrees. So we need to evaluate sine of 225 degrees. And 225 degrees is one of our special angles. It has a reference of 45 degrees, and it's located in the third quadrant, which means it would be negative. So our final answer is negative square root 2 over 2. Now, the part about the reference angle, uh, hopefully you're already familiar with that. But if not, go back and look at the um, module on reference angles to make sure you know those values because we'll be using these values again and again as we expand our use of trigonometric identities.